wetsuit fit? I would say working here at the shop, 70 if not maybe 80% of customers who we help with wetsuits are at least one size over where they should be and even more so end up buying a suit that doesn't fit. Usually when we end up working with someone, it's really hard to convince folks that the proper fit when you're here in the store and the suit is brand new and dry has to be bordering almost on discomfort and feel more or less restricted through the shoulders. Um, size charts can be kind of misleading because when we get into higher end suits like here where we're really close to the beach for folks who surf a lot if they have the money and they're gonna spend say 250 to 300 or so dollars at least on a wetsuit those are suits that are gonna expand a lot when they get wet so like I was saying you want to have it fit really really tight when it's here in the store when you go in the water it's probably gonna change up to maybe 30 or so percent um, with the size chart it's really just it's just a guideline. The height is the least significant thing. You wanna look mostly at the weight and make sure that you're at the upper tier of the weight range on the manufacturer's breakdown that they list on all those charts. And I would say, again, 70, 80% of the time, people might need, unfortunately, they might need a short. Usually they don't need a tall. Um, I'm pretty average size. I, I'm a little skinny. I'm about 5'10 and probably not even 150 pounds. And I wear a size small, which when I hold it up, it, it almost looks like a little kid suit. But when I put it on and I go in the water and it stretches, maybe I use it a few times, it, it's great and it keeps me warm. Um, so this is our, is our all-star model, Eric over here. Eric, smile for the camera. Um, okay. So Eric, he's, uh, he's probably got a few pounds or so on me. We're probably about even in height. He just wears a straight medium, he was telling me earlier, right? Yep. Okay, so he's one size over the medium. He's wearing a large right now, which down in the legs, it looks pretty good, like he's filling the legs out pretty good. Um, this right here is, is arguably is a little low because if he were to go and surf in this suit, um, everything that's baggy up here is going to drop down into the legs and sag and the suit might collect water. You can see when we look in the armpits here, if you just stand kind of normal, just put your arms down. This is really baggy. There's a little bit of a wrinkle there. Similar to the ankles, the wrist is hanging kind of low. Um, it, it's, it's one size too big for him. But like I was saying, a lot of the time, People will um, will end up walking out of here with something like that, and uh, more often than not, unfortunately, you know they'll come back, and and we're pretty good about maybe taking stuff back, but they'll complain that the water is flushing, um, or better yet, the water is not flushing because too much water is getting in, and bottom line, they're just getting cold. Um, so make sure that you get the right size and the best guideline free of maybe the, st the size chart, which is an, uh, it's a good starting point. Make sure that it is really, really tight through the shoulders. And you'll kind of know, like if it's choking you, it's probably gonna be too much, but it needs to be bordering just about on restricted, like I was saying. So that's my two cents.